Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the one, the only, Rylan Waters of Rochester Adams Football. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So, um, man, it has been it's been quite the start to the season. Uh, getting a few big wins uh, on the year, four and zero, two wins to start off OAA play. Um, I, I know, I, I know. Um, that's that was uh that was some pretty big games and you guys uh you guys stepped up when you needed you to win the game. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, we know the OA Reds gonna be a gauntlet every year, so we know we gotta take every team the same way, and pre- over prepare for everybody. Yeah, take me back to um, you know, really just just week one. What was that like just to to get? Because you never the most uh. If you ask, asking most coaches, it's like they're the most because week one, you never know what's going to happen because it is week one because uh, you haven't played football in nine, 10 months. But what was uh, what was it like to get uh, that win to kick off the season because against Romeo, because it kind of, you know, you know, kind of set up for what uh, where you guys are now. Uh, yeah, it was a big win, you know, uh Obviously, we haven't played in nine months. We look, we had a good scrimmage against Chippewa Valley, but we started off really strong, and then we we kind of we kind of fell off a little bit. Like we we let up, we took our foot off the gas, and that's what ended up getting us into the overtime. But we ended up battling back, and that's all that matters is we showed courage. Yeah, and then really, we'll fast forward. You know, got a big win against uh, get big win against Rochester in week two, and then really week three. Um, you know, the West Bloomfield game. Uh, what was that like to kind of be in, you know, you always want to be in those moments to, 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 to go get it done. What was it like to, to get it done? That game? Uh, it was great. You know, I wanted them to call my name in that sort of situation because I knew I could get the job done and I just wanted them to have faith in me. And that's what ended up happening. I mean, have you, have you been in that kind of play and kind of situation before? No, not, I'm, uh, no, not at all last year, no. And that I mean overtime against Romeo, the two point play, that was a huge play. But besides that, no, not really. No. Yeah, I mean that that had to be like, was that like what was what was that like to to beat a team like that and to to have everybody have the entire state well actually the entire world watch it because it was on YouTube. <laughs> what, uh, yeah. What was, it was, it, what, was the, what was that like? Uh, it was a big game. We know, obviously, West Bloomfield handed us a couple of losses last year. Uh, we know we owed them something. They're a great team, very well coached. So we know we had to bring it all. And then, of course, the next week got the win. The, this 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 last week getting the big win against Clarkston. Um, you know, to continue the momentum, you know, go from the highest of highs and then getting ready for the next week. What? How do you kind of just get, okay, well, all right, we got this big win. Now we got to go get another one. Uh, yeah, we just know that after Friday nights, got to celebrate the win, you know, enjoy the win. And then come Saturday morning, we're back at it, watching film, getting a lift in and we're back with the team getting ready for the next week. Yeah. I mean, um, kind of just how it's set up. I know a lot of teams like to, you know, have different setups for how they approach like the weekend and stuff. Like, how do you guys, how do you guys kind of handle all that? Uh, yeah. So after the game, like we go eight to 10 in the morning on Saturdays, get, just get out of the way. We do a little jogging, get a little lift in. And then uh, we have parents that volunteer, bring us in bagels and water while we watch film and we correct our mistakes. And then, um, and Sundays usually, is that the uh, Sundays off? If I'm not yes. And they just rest day. Yeah. Nothing on Sundays. Okay. Um, so like, what are, what do you kind of typically do to, you know, on the rest days, just to, just to kind of, you know, relax and stuff like that. And, um, and then get ready for, get ready for that, where, whatever that game will be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll take an ice bath on Saturday while we're at practice. And then, uh, normally like an Epsom salt bath or something, I'll try to sleep a little more, um, watch a little more film and obviously watch them at Sunday NFL. Absolutely. Um, so, Going into, you know, going into this week, obviously the, uh, obviously, you know how tough this division is, uh, because obviously you play in it, but the, uh, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Well, because there's never any off weeks in high school football for any team, but um, Lake Orion is of course uh, the next opponent. What's that going to be like? I know they're, I know they're coming off a loss against Oxford, but 
Um, you know, obviously I got to see them earlier this year. What's the, what's it going to be like to prepare uh, for a really good team that, that went a really, uh, that went a really long way last year? Um, we know that they're going to be hungry coming off that loss. So we know we're going to have to match and overcome, like we're going to need to match their energy and obviously come out with a lot of, uh, passion. So, um, we know they're a good team and we know what we're going to have to do to beat them. You know, kind of talk about this since you've kind of, uh, stepped into the QB role. What, what has that been like? How have you kind of just been, you know, being the quarterback of, at Rochester Adams. What what is that like for you? Uh, I mean, it's a great experience. Obviously, learning every day. Coaches are great. They're helping me, especially as a sophomore. They helped me. They guided me through the game. And now they handed me the keys to the offense this year, and I'm really able to take over. What's it like? What's it like uh, playing for Tony? It's great. Guys, he's a great man. He's an honorable man. Great person as well. Great coach. Um, so really, I just, can you just describe how tough this division is in the OAA, Brad? Uh, like I said earlier, it's, it's really a gauntlet, like all these teams, like we know last year, everybody made the playoffs and this year, everybody's going to make the playoffs. Plus everybody's going to be competitive this year, which is going to be, uh, it's honestly exciting to watch that we have so much competition in the OAA, Red. Yeah. Um, and then, then also, I think, you know, really after these, these next two, it could really set you up for you know, what the goals, what the goals have been all season, you know, but what, what do you feel like you guys got to do the next, next five weeks to, uh, to kind of uh, just to kind of get where you need to go for, uh, before the postseason starts? Uh, we just can't get overconfident. You know, we've been underdogs for most of this year. Uh, nobody on our team has an offer. Nobody's committed anywhere. So it makes us hungry. So we can't overdo it. We can't change what we've been, what's been working and uh just keep our head down for the next five weeks absolutely um and then and then last thing uh, I, I think i asked you this before but what's on uh what are some of the things on rhino's playlist before a game mm, little dreams and nightmares uh full m m till i collapse that's a, that's the big one right before the game yeah um really just like some uh, edm okay all right um all right well rylan thank you so much for the time as always congrats on uh that's on the success so far and best of luck this week against Lake Orion. Thank you. Thank you for having me.